Hi guys, it's me Emma and today I'm going to show you how to make your own wand. Let's get started. It's kind of, it's going to be kind of hard to show you with this book, but drawing it out, but it should be pretty clear, sort of clear. So we'll have a line and then I'm just trying to show my plan. I have three different colors. I'm using a pink, a red, and a white. So I want to make a gradient from the red, from red to pink to white. I want to make a really pretty gradient. Hopefully make a gradient. So let's get started. We're going to be using household products that you can practically find anywhere in your house. First thing you're going to need, a pair of chopsticks. I know, weird, but this is going to be our base. Second thing you're going to need, hot glue. These are the two things you want to make if you just want to make a super basic one that just looks cool and clear and has the wood in the middle. But if you want to be fancy like I'm going to do, you can add beads and ringlets on the end to hold beads on the end or anything like that. You can just do anything. Go wild or just customize it and make it your own. The paint, the color of paint, I'll, the paint I'll be using is going to be the Apple Barrel and Craft Smart, not sponsored, not affiliated or anything like that. So this is just stuff I have and I'm going to use it. Oh, and also after everything's done, drying, I'm going to do Mod Podge to coat it. So here is what the wand is going to sort of look like just without the feather. I don't have any feathers on me right now. So we're just going to use what we have. You can really use anything you can find around that. First things first, get your pair of chopsticks, open, open it up however you want to, or be really silly like me and pull out the wooden chopsticks. It's best if you use wooden chopsticks that you get at a Chinese restaurant or anything like that. It's the best way to use it. It's cheap. They're usually pretty much free and you just snap it open. And now you have two bases, so you can make two different wands. Or if you want to, you can make a super long wand. But we'll just be making a regular, well, regular wand. Now, since I have my base, well, my wand base, or if you want to be fancy, the core, we're going to do, you can color it whatever color if you're doing a clear uh, wand, but I'm going to do a colored wand. So, let's get started. First things first, you're going to take your wand and you're going to start at the very base. I'm just going to take the hot glue and just pile it on, make it thick, or do thin coats. You can use the nozzle. This right here really is just the very first pass to get everything sort of coated in the hot glue. So I just like using it in the nozzle and spreading it around because you can make the wand as thick or as thin as you want it. I think I'm gonna go for a thinner wand this time. Maybe, I don't know, but you can leave the grain, wood grain texture underneath if you want that, but I want just the hot glue texture, maybe a little bit of texture on top of it. I don't know, but we'll see as we go. As you can see with hot glue, you'll see that turns cloudy. That's when you know it's dry. And hot glue dries really fast, so makes this a really easy and well, quicker project. This should take you about an hour, but that's not including drying time. About glue, including a little bit of drying time. If you include drying time, it will take about two hours because it'll take a little while to dry because I'm using acrylics. And if you want to just do a clear one, then it takes you shorter amount of a shorter amount of time. All you do is you just keep going up and up and up. Use the tip of the nozzle if you want to, to do it. And as you can see, I'm getting close to needing to reload the this, like super close. And as you can see, I'm using protection to protect my desk. And now I'm going to hold this in my hand for like double, do double handing it, doing it, holding this like this. That's not 
none of it. And then I'm going to stick a new one of these in there, and I'm just going to keep going. And the more you do this, the, like, the more you practice with making wands, or the more you start getting into the wand making process, it turns out really fun. It also gets kind of therapeutic. do is I'm just gonna quickly check to see if it's dry enough and not tacky it's gonna be really warm if you just if you want to do the other end you just be careful not to touch anything else other than the wand if you want a really nice thick wand well then you can pile on more and more hot glue there is gonna be a lot of threads coming off you can just Take those, rip them off or snip them off after you're done covering it in the hot glue. This right here for me is just going to be very first pass because this right here is just coating the whole entire wooden dowel, the chopstick, and hot glue. So as you can see, there's lots of little spots that are not covered. That's just what happens sometimes with the hot glue. Since I've done this now, I'm just gonna let it sit for a little while and then as it dries, there'll be more wisps, wisps that come off and try not to burn yourself like I just did, ow. And I'm just gonna sit here and wait for it to dry. So I'll see you guys after it dries. I might just include this drying time so you can see how long it dries, but you can, just skip forward after it dries and then you can do that so if you're sticking around waiting for it to dry to see how long it's gonna take to dry we can just talk about life I actually want to talk about what's coming up in my life a lot of big changes are actually happening as you guys might not know I'm 15 turning 16 this year I'm with the COVID-19 virus and everything I'm doing homeschooling which I've done homeschooling for about three years now. This will be my fourth year of doing homeschooling. For me, homeschooling is my favorite type of schooling. That might not be the same for other people, so yeah. Another thing that's coming up is I'm gonna be taking a class for about a month. There's three different classes in one week for a month. It's another art class. Well, it's going to be art class I'm going to be taking for drawing because in my future, I want to go into illustration. So you'll slowly see me getting better with my drawing. Then another thing that's coming up is I'm going to be taking pre-college classes at an art university online. So that will be really nice. It's already starting to come into shape. You can see it's slowly drying, but some of it will be clear, some of it will be cloudy. It just depends on how it wants to little, like dry. See, this is practically already dry. So again, I'm gonna start at the base. It's still gonna be a little warm, but we'll just keep going. I want to make this a nice, thin type of wand. And now, since that was my base coat, I could do another base coat if I wanted to but I kind of do want to do a second base coat, just make it just a tiny bit thicker. Now, another thing with this is you have to make sure as you're getting close to your final coat to start putting in details. And diff we'll put in not just different details, but different textures to make the wand look really cool and unique. As you can see, I'm just swirling around using the nozzle. Like what I did with my old one is the the strings in there, those got painted and made it look like a vine, vines. And I kind of want to look this like a really pretty pink or red to pink to white gradient. So I want to make it just really pretty. Now, another thing with the wand is you want to make sure as you get closer to the tip of the wand to do a tapering. And I need more hot glue. Here we go. <sighs> Ugh. 
after I get this in, like I'm saying, as you get closer to the end of the wand, you want to make it start tapering it. And if you make it just too big, you can just keep on, you can go all the way back up and just start adding more thickness to the base, which I'm going to do right here because they haven't made it thick enough. Sorry for the weird sound that it's the glue, the glue gun is making and it just tried to burn my hand. Ow. Just also be careful because the glue gun might get hot or anything like that, so just be careful. You can see there's lots of texture in here. You can't really see it, but where we put paint on it, you'll really see it just start coming to life. And you can imagine whatever type of core in your wand that you want. So just have fun. As you can see, it's getting nice thickness and it's slowly starting to taper off. So this is the part where you gotta start to do it a little bit, become a little smarter and more strategic with it. You wanna start making it slowly, just start tapering. You can see the end of this one is kind of thick still. As you can see, it's very slowly tapered. And as you can see, as the wand is drying, the glue is going to the end of the part of the wand that's in the orientation that's at. So I'm just gonna sit here and keep doing this. And like again, you can skip to forward to see whatever you want to, wherever you see what's going on to see the next step so just if you want to stay here stay if you don't you don't have to um i know it's kind of weird just me talking about my life I just want to ask how are you guys doing write it in the description below since this is almost done the glue part like i said this can take about an hour the, one of the longest parts is just the drying time. And with this wand, so after that, now with this wand is I kind of want to make it not super flat. I'm trying to make it rounded as well. And with this, you can use this just for decoration or playtime. Like a playtime or cosplay or anything like that. A fun fact about me you guys didn't know is I love anime. I don't know why I love anime. It's just it's so cool and fun just to see all of it come to life. I'm really a lot of the ones that this makes it looks really bumpy like fine. So if you want to do a green theme, you can. I used a blue theme like the night sky you want to just 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 have fun now I'm just gonna be here again just waiting for it to dry hopefully I'm gonna turn it I'm just gonna keep on turning it just to help keep all the glue in the same position well sort of position if you see there's glue and thickers in some spots just let it hold there lay there for a second and just keep going so now let's just talk for me my life has been going pretty well as some of you guys might know if you've seen my second ever video first to second ever video i posted i did gotcha life and i'm still gonna do a couple gotcha life videos here and there is i have schizophrenia and depression so art is one way i use to escape the world and everything so Art for me is a big hold on my life and it has, right now it's been having a big influence on my life. So that's really one thing I'm grateful for, for art. It's it's being there for me right now. You can see this is turning out very, really nice. Just doing the last few things around the end is I'm just gonna try to be really careful because it's slowly coming to that end. Right at that end point where you have to Take it slow at this part, just to give it that little bit of texture you need. 
you need to to remelt the glue you can just use the glue the nozzle at the end of the glue gun it should be nice and hot use it to melt some of the glue to make it going the way you want it to i'm sorry for the background noise that's my niece so she is just having fun her family has moved in my sister and her husband has moved in with my niece because of so you know covid19 also another message about this stay safe right now just you need to stay safe make sure to wash your hands and everything if you do that, wash your hands and stay safe, then you can possibly save your life or somebody else's life. So also just make sure to wash hands and do all that stuff. Do a nice, a lot of personal hiking. That will also help a lot. So yeah. And I just unplug the glue gun. I'm gonna need it. A little while so i'm just turn it off and another way if you want to make this dry a little quicker is so you can just twirl it around get a feel for it right now it's still kind of warm but it'll it will cool off as it gets as it cools off it you'll be able to see the shape a little bit better and while it's still kind of warm you can maybe mold it a little bit with your hands not very much because it's very bouncy, so it's more, it's actually pretty comfortable to hold. Like, not extremely comfortable, but it's more comfortable than you would think. Take this, for example. Oh, foot. I'm sorry for that. Just had a technical difficulty there. Okay, everything's in line. You can see this one right here. I've done a while back is still pretty comfortable it's just it's harder because of the acrylic but if you just did it like this it'll be a little softer and this part right here is still kind of rubbery but not super super rubbery so it just depends on how you do it how you paint it what you use what type of glue you use there's a lot of different factors to make it like that okay let's keep going the next part is where you get to have a lot of fun. This right here is just a prep. Now you have your base of the wand. You have your base, your core. Now you have the outside. Now you're gonna do the outer layer or the bark or something like that. All you're practically gonna need is just one big brush. That's it. Nice small paint palette because I'm only doing three of the colors. I'm gonna start with red. Make sure to shake up your paint. I'm doing acrylics because I love acrylics. And this is really cheap brand, but so cheap. Got it. This one is from a different store, so yeah. This one was actually from a common store. I'm not gonna say their name because I don't want to get copyrighted and all that stuff. I just got it from a store. We've had it for a long time. Sorry about the chair. What you do is as you go over this, you'll be able to start seeing some of the, more of the shape. If you need to, if you want to, it makes it a little easier if you go thinner layers. And brush in whatever way you want to. Go back and forth a little bit just to give it more texture. That really is all what I, we're looking for right now is that texture and the color. And I put way too much paint in the palette. Way, 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 way too much paint. With this extra paint, I might paint something. I might just show you how to make a really thin wand also. Well, like, just a really thin, clear one. A different way to do it. With this, I also want to do a second layer on top of this because I'm going to be blending colors and the gradient. So probably is a little bit more than enough. As you can see, I want really bright and nice bright red at the end of the wand, the base. And then as it goes up, I want to start making it lighter. And another thing with it, the paint is going to make it a little bit harder. Well, like stiffer. So just keep that in mind also. And with this, if you want to, you can just try to find somewhere where you can lay it to dry. Hopefully I'm smart and nope, I'll just do that. 
bring in a cup of water because I need to do that. Rinse it off and then uh, take this and I'm going to rinse off my brush real quick. Because while the paint is still wet, I want to switch to the pink and then to the white. Because I want to be able to get that nice, bold, rinsy, like that really nice and bold color difference. Another way you can, the way you can tell if there's still paint on your brush, you can just wipe it on your hand because it'll come off. Because the water is going to be colored, so it's harder to see if it's not color doesn't have the same amount of color on it now i'm gonna switch to this paint it's a pink it's same brand of apple barrel so nothing super fancy pour some pink in there i only need a tiny bit like i've learned my lesson with the red take this and take the pink and i'm gonna start off where i want to start it before it gets ready to too well well to transition into the white well to the white or to the red i choose the midpoint right now and i'm also trying to use the paintbrush to get into the crevices of it might be a little hard if i have a smaller brush it'll be a little easier but you can just use a regular big brush if you want to and i would not suggest water marbling because it's not really waterproof. As you can see, I'm just trying to have fun with it. I'm gonna take some of the red and it's gonna do a really, hopefully an okay blend. This is probably not the proper technique, so just have fun with it and just experiment. Make it how you want it to look. That's as probably as good as I'm gonna gradient. Well, gradient as I'm gonna have with quotation marks around gradient. Oof, oof. Oh no. I did not plan this out right. Okay, body, help me. Don't spill me all over me. Please and thank you. Thank you, paint gods, or whatever you want to call it. I'll just use the paint that's on the end of, well, kind of stuck now. Now I'm going to have to sit here and hold this and wait for this to dry. Coat one. Probably have to do like two or three coats. After I finish doing all this, I'm going to put on charms and then I'll be in the final step. Probably do a little bonus at the end of painting if I want to with the extra paint I have. I don't want to waste the paint, so I'll just try to decide while I'm doing this. I'm trying to think of what I could do. Take some extra paper and just do, I think I'll do some abstract art with the three different colors. You can see it's fun to just do this and do little things all around. Try not to get it, the paint on other stuff acrylic paint on other stuff because acrylic paints like to go on everything and it stains so well just enjoy what you can this is pretty much going to be doing for the next probably 15 minutes waiting for it to dry if you want to go faster do thinner coats on a thinner coat than i did you'll just have to do more so yeah i have a really bad joke for you guys what's Every cat's favorite color. Write in the description if you know. Give you about how, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's purple. I know that was a horrible purple. Purple. Purring sound of purple. wonder how's all your guys' life is going. If you want to, you can also write down in the description, anything like that. If your life isn't going good, just 
I'm writing, write it down. And I'm not a professional. I've only had experiences with my own experiment, experience. So don't come running at me if it doesn't work. Ooh, or if I'm giving you advice. If I say something that's worked for me and it doesn't work for you, don't come, <laughs> come after me because it won't work for everyone. <coughs> Sorry, just got a little thirsty. Got a question for you guys. Who's your favorite YouTuber? I know it's probably not me, but go ahead and write down the description. For me, it would have to be between Nerdy Crafter, Mariah Elizabeth, and Snake Discovery. <coughs> I know they're really popular channels. Well, not super, super popular, but I hope people know them who are watching this. And I'm not wanting a shout out or anything from them, but if they watch this, that would be amazing. But one thing is just Nuri Crafter Mariah Elizabeth, those are two people who actually started getting me into this. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, but it's also amazing. YouTubers have such a big impact on people's lives. Some of them don't even know it or notice it. But they really can impact a person's life. I know I'm just going to be ranting, and I'm sorry. Very, very sure. sorry. It's just I don't want it to be complete silence for the next, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> As you can see, acrylics take a while to dry. You can sit underneath a van that might make it dry quicker or whatever. So, how's school, school going for all you guys? Are you getting close to... Are you doing longer in school? Are you... Almost done with school. For me, I'm almost done for school with this year. I only have two more tests and then I'm done with school for my sophomore year. But my mom's gonna make me start my junior year after I finish this just to keep me busy. I'm gonna show you guys two different methods with this. I think I kind of want to leave it like it's glowing, sort of. So I'm only gonna do one coat on here, so it makes my life just a tiny bit easier. Because you'll still be able to see some of the hot glue-ish texture, like translucent. I kind of want to leave it translucent. I'll see how it looks after it dries a little bit more. Well, this right here is a perfect time to start talking to you guys about my life a little bit. Well, one of the things about my life is, as you know, or as I've said, I have schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, bipolar, a whole bunch of stuff. And epilepsy. So, I'm all jacked up. All weird. So boomy but also it's given me experiences that I'm proud about. If you want to learn more about my story and stuff, I have a Wattpad account. You can go to wattpad.com and search up Emma the Queen. I think that's my name. I believe that's my name. Yeah, that's my name, I think. And if you find my account, you'll see a my icon on my the icon on my picture account photo on YouTube, it will be that photo. And I have a really nice sort of long short story about my life and my depression. But some things I didn't write in there is what my life was before. For me, my life before I figured out I had depression and everything was weird it was normal well quotation marks around normal had a pretty n weird normal family and living having fun and just trying to enjoy life and I really did enjoy life and I'm glad I moved to where I did 
I, before this all started, I moved from Illinois to Kansas, and that's where I live right now, is in Kansas, so that's pretty nice. And it's just amazing, having fun. And if we didn't move to Kansas, my life could be much worse with my mental health, so it's really nice. There's one thing I want to talk about with in a later video, or right now actually, is about mental health. Because mental health, there is so many different things about it that makes it so weird and crazy. Because mental health is so much bigger than many people, some people think. It's huge. There's so many people that can have it. Don't know the statistics, but I think it's like one in so many people. And childhood depression is really common. It's thanks to other kids or the mental development of the brain gets messed up somehow. For me, my chemicals in my brain, they were all wacky and weird. And they're still kind of wacky and weird, but I'm taking medication to level it out. So I just want to let you guys know you guys are not alone. That's what I thought for uh, so long, that I was alone. I was the only one who had this. My diagnosis is actually kind of rare. Childhood onset schizophrenia, so that makes it <laughs> a little bit harder for me. So I have a more rarer, rarer with quotation marks around it for childhood onset schizophrenia. And the thing to tell you about schizophrenia, it's not like what it is in the movies. They totally exaggerate it. Yes, it is practically as scary as it is right there. But after people, they get help and get medicine that they need, their life turns practically almost back to where it was, but not really. So it was before. Okay. Come on. Dry. As you can see, it's taking forever, I think. As you can see right here, how it still has the brush strokes, but it's also, it's dry. This is kind of like a flame, but also gives it like the effect I'm kind of like. I really like this effect. Now, since I know what I want to go for, I'm going to just take my bunch of paper towels, take it, take off some water, and just deep it off, deep, deep, deep. Take some white paint. Put it on the end and just finish off this painting process and then let it dry. I know there might, there really isn't that much pink in there, but there will be. I just want really nice bright white. Just tab off some of that and put some more pink in there. And shabang. White. Put it in there. Then I'm going to take white and then put it all over the tip. Make it super nice and bright. And a ta da! Come here, pink. Ta da! It's not the best, but it's also like not the worst. So. You can do better than me and make it look a little bit better, but this is what I'm trying to go for. After this is dry, this is gonna take a while. I'm probably just gonna sit here and then edit this part out, or if I want to, just keep going. If you want to, like I've said before, skip forward ahead if you want to see. Skip all of this. This is probably gonna be over an hour long video. Like how it usually is with my videos is about an hour. Now it's about a little bit more than over an hour. Probably going to be an hour and a half to two hour long video. But I think it's better if you skip unless you want to hear me rant on and on and on. You can do that. I've got a question for you guys. What's your guys' favorite book? Write down in the description below. My favorite book right now, actually, I listened to it recently on Audible, again, not a, not a sponsor, not affiliated, is The House on Mango Street. It's a really good book. And the weirdest thing is, I use it 
credit for school, so sometimes book from school books from school is not amazing. And if you see with this wand, there's some wood poking through. What you can do is you can want to use some of these beads after it's dried more and use these beads to cover up some of those if I want to. And I'm going to use a multitude of these colored beads. I'm just going to have some if I want to. I could add one. Oh, there we go. One of these on the end. We're in there. So final decorations is really one of my favorite parts of any project. What you can maybe do is set down a piece of paper really quickly and not move it and just leave it there. My clothes are covered in paint now. Come on, just give me a couple pieces of paper. No, I don't really have any more pieces of paper that good. That are made super good paper. Ah. Meh, they're all upstairs. No, they're not upstairs. They would be down here in this thing. Meh. Well, don't use the paper I'm gonna use. Use a thicker paper or canvas. I'm actually gonna be a cheater and just do this. Have a second piece of paper underneath it. Use the two colors I have right now and just rinse it off real quick. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm just gonna dive right in with this. Again, dry it off a little bit. Um, take some paint and just start painting. As you can see, I'm just going straight into it. Is I'm just trying to have fun with it. Throw in some pink. As you can see, it's probably just be a big good splotch. That's it. I'm just going full blowing. Weird it off and just, I'm just gonna go full blowing just using this and just having fun and just going all over the place with this paint. Starting off with nice pink background. Woohoo! That was a lot of paint. Uh, well, that wasn't more than enough. Is that enough? Not enough paint? Well, this is the perfect time to paint because I have stuff out. And don't for, don't worry, cleanup shouldn't be too hard with all this stuff. Well, maybe a little bit harder, but shouldn't be too, too bad. Right now, I'm just gonna cover this whole entire thing with some pink. Oh no, oh no. This is kind of old paint, so it's globby and I hate that. I don't like blobby. And now I have a bunch of paint on a piece of paper. You know what? You can use this piece of paper any way you want to. I'm just going to take some of this red and just make, just make it a nice, pretty, weird things and just, just have fun with it. Let me just do a halfway gradient. You can see I'm just messing around, having fun, and just doing different things with it and just experimenting. Another thing I might want to do is just take some of this red and just go boop, 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 boop. And then we just wear the band out and it's a horrible color, but it's also kind of pretty at the same time. Pink, come and save this color. Come and save it. Uh. Uh. I know I'm weird and I just. See this? 
almost done with a super simple and sort of really nice painting. Quotation marks around nice. See this? This is just gonna be a nice, really just simple blobby gradient thingy. And now after this, if I want to, I can draw something on top of it. Make a mess on me, please, 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 please. Uh. You can see I might need a second coat, but I kind of like it peeking through. And this is all the paint I'm gonna need. It's stuck. Just take whatever pieces want to fly up. Ugh. Now I get the fun process of going down underneath my desk and plugging in the hot green bar. up a little bit and then I get to help by like putting some beads on there. As you can see this can take a little bit of a lot of work. And now look at my area. Good thing I have a trash bag on. So it's not a super 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 big mess. I did that, but not the best. Ugh, please don't tell me it's gonna be all right. Good transfer arms. Good transfer arms. Really, all I'm gonna do right now is just let this heat up a nice big amount. Heat it up. Heat up for a little bit, and I'm gonna pick out some stuff to put on. You don't want too, too many things on there. I'm trying to pick all beads that are sort of in the same family. Well, they're all the same color. I think that should be enough beads. <sighs> don't want to lose any beads. Those could be real tragic. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out two different charms because I have a charm in here in mind. I already have one. Either that. What's this one? What the hell is that? Is it? What? No thank you, monkey. No thank you, lizard. No you can. Oh, I'm sorry for the answer. But and then I want to choose really nice and pretty now I want to choose this one. Do I want one darker? Let's do a nice bright pink. Is that even lighter? Nope, those are two of the same color. Now I'm going to pick which charm I want to put on. Well, ring hoop I want to put on. I'm trying to find it just a simple circular, but it doesn't want to have a circle circle, so I guess I want to either go with the heart. Let's go with a really pretty white heart. Let's just give it a squeeze. And here comes the glue. Just gonna make sure to lock all of this into place. What I'm gonna do right now is create this really nice effect of interchanging this one with that side this right now takes a lot of focus and not burning yourself I 
I want to now. Hopefully I can. There's gonna be a little bit of hot glue in there. See, it's gonna look really weird and kind of like not too bad. But I kind of want to embed it in here. I want to embed this in the hot glue. It's like an optical illusion, sort of, hopefully. Optical illusion of beads in there. And there is actual beads in there. Do the same on this side. Now what I'm gonna do right now is just give this really nice, good, quick coat over. Ah. First time to run out, practically run out of glue. I'm probably it's kind of nice for you guys to see me just be so quiet. Again, I'm sorry for all the background noise. I want something I want to do on this right this part right here. This part. Sorry about like that. So many different stringy spider webbies. No. 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 As you can see, I don't like getting the things in me. And now I get to do really quick coat all the way over this. Because I'm a little bit smaller than the other. This kind of looks a little tiny bit like a butterfly. Was just a nice base underneath here. I'm trying to make this like all encased in the glue. This right here will probably. And almost burnt myself right there. Clean that up a tiny bit. More flyaways. Now I'm just gonna hold it here and wait for it to dry a little bit. Wait for this to dry. And then I'm gonna put this onto here. Boop, boop, boop. Now what I'm gonna do is just Stick that in here and then it will practically hang like that. Ugh. One thing that you want to do is do a really nice big thing at the end. Glue and then you stick it in here however you want to. Try to do it carefully. I think that I feel like <gasps> fudge! It's kind of hard. And again, I'm gonna embed this heart, and then this butterfly is just gonna hang out. Embed the heart and a little bit of the butterfly wing in there. Just really nice, strong, and stable. This right here is going to be bulbous sort of end. As you can see, it's going to be a little bit cloudy, but you'll hopefully be able to see some of it. 
As you can see, this is practically almost done. Might add a little ring right here. Freaking hot glue. Why does everyone to stick to more? As you can see, hot glue is really messy to work with, but it does create a really nice effect. Really nice ring right here around here. I'm probably going to put some down here. See, this paint is just going to start rubbing off, so. If you do Mod Podge, I'm a little bit too lazy to do Mod Podge, but if you do Mod Podge on top, it will stay. And as you can see, this is practically the final product. If you want, if you're really perfectionist, you can make it look a lot better than me, but I kind of like it as it starts rubbing off. It's like the wearing of a wand. Now I just got to wait for this to dry more. As you can see, some of it's still nice and rub, like, soft the outside just a little bit. It's just dried enough so you can actually mold it a little bit. Well, I've done two projects today, well, Made a big mess, had a lot of fun. Talk to you guys. Bye.